Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of Nature's Beauty here with John Fowl 92 um, Plan and Hardcore. So this series could be over any time. Um, <laughs> uh, actually, I see the sun going down, so that reminds me I gotta probably go to sleep before I uh, do too much of this. But um, I wanted to bring you back. Uh, I'm gonna start a project, um, so I figured I would uh, show you um, about that. And that is going to be the project we're going to start. So near our village here, oops, there we go, um, standing on the horse cart, uh, there was this, um, I don't even know what it was, I guess a, a ruin of a castle. Um, I'll go across the little, little pond here. And um, yeah, it is pretty ruined. Um, you can see it's all covered in vines. The landscape around it's a disaster. Um, it separates it off from our village by the, the it separates it separated from the village by this dungeon area, which we probably also want to fix up eventually. Um, but yeah, we can use the vines to climb in here. <clears throat> so as you can see, it you know it has a very nice view of our village. Um, in theory, this is the castle, uh, or the, the keep area, I guess you could call it, um, above our, uh, above our village. Um, and before I build anything else, I was thinking restoring this would be most appropriate. Um, don't know why the redstone blocks, but, uh, yeah, restoration starts with shears, I guess. <laughs> um... It, technically, I probably could just come in here and, you know, get rid of this all with torches or something, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this as a chance to get a bunch of vines. You never know when you'll need them. Um, probably this will be all the vines I'll ever need in my entire world, um, which will make me happy because then I can get rid of the ones that I uh, don't like or don't see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing this for a while, and then I'm going to be getting um, some of these materials. So it's oak and dark oak, uh, white terracotta, and let's just do that. Uh, stone bricks. Um, you know, we have these rooms in here, they're all set up for us. Uh, but, um, they're all overgrown with vines, and we got a lot of cleaning up to do, so the glass in here is brown stained glass panes, so just taking note of what uh, materials we'll need, and then inside over here we'll clean up all the cobwebs as well, hopefully, and get rid of those. Um, we have blue, light blue terracotta, and dark oak planks on the floors, some dark oak wood, so it's really just the different variations of oak. And I don't know what the redstone is here, if it's just supposed to be decorative or if there was some purpose to it. Um, I don't know if I can get up there too easily. Yeah, I guess I can come up this way and climb up there. Yeah, well, so this is the top. Uh, I think that's all the materials they have, and obviously we'll have to add a bunch of our own stuff. Um, but that's a lot of terracotta I want to go gather, and then I have to figure out how to lay out all the walls and put in different materials. And uh, if I'm going to get rid of the vines, I want to do it all at once because they will just grow back so fast. Um, so I am going to get to work um, and I will bring you back uh, to show you some of the next steps. I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back. Um, so as I said, I was going to take away all of the vines. And as you can see here, uh, I ended up punching a bunch of them because I was just sick of uh, using shears. Um, but even with that, uh, I got a lot of vines. Um, but this place is looking, um, you know, 
still run down. Uh, still in great need of repair. Um, really interesting though, see this? Look, this is a barrier block. So look, they put barrier blocks over these to help, I guess, keep them a certain height to get a variation thing. That must be a uh, part of, I think this is part of that recursive something, uh, <laughs> I think it's recursive engineering or recursive something that puts these structures in the world. I've never seen barrier blocks um, in a vanilla world before, but yeah, it's cool. Um, and I'm sure I missed a vine or two somewhere. Uh, and when I did, oh, hey, you got paper in your mouth. Uh, I'm going to let you fly away. Um, thinking of doing that and getting the paper, but no, I'll be nice. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, next step is getting the materials and uh, starting to the renovation project uh, and deciding exactly how I'm going to landscape around it as well. All right, well, um, uh, I'm going to get on that. I did want to show you, well, it's getting a little dark, so I, it's actually a good time to show you. I, I, mean, I love these torches here. These are the um, feral flare lanterns, and they light up a huge area. Um, rather than like a torch or something, these lanterns, like there's no need for a torch here anymore because these lanterns light up really, really large areas. So if you can, you can come up here and show you, you know, I have a few of those scattered around and basically keeps this whole valley lit up and I'm just put, you know, put a few of them key places there, there, there kind of using them like street lamps around town. Um, and the other thing I did, the other project, I, I hesitate to say that it's complete, but I'm working on it right now. Um, the windmill looked ridiculous to me always because it was like a tiny um, base. There was like a four by four base underneath this huge building. Um, and I kind of get it if it was like the cellar, but in this case, it wasn't the cellar. It was above ground. So... Um, I wanted to open it up, um, so I did. And then the other thing I did was connect it. Um, there was a, one of those standard, really ugly, uh, <laughs> no, uh, no, vanilla Minecraft houses here, one of the larger ones. Um, so what I did was connected the two structures, um, and I basically ripped that entire structure out. But I used the kind of basic pattern of it and built this um, thing with a similar roof um, that now connects. So I have this structure here that now connects to the windmill. The windmill still has all its floors and things. I might come in here and also upgrade um, the windmill a little bit. Um, but uh, this is still basically vanilla, but now, I mean, the, uh, well, I shouldn't say vanilla, uh, standard building at the top, and this now is a new structure that I've added to the village, which I like. And there's the zombie with an iron sword that could kill me. Um, but he is a zombie villager. Uh, so let's go sleep. Uh, not up here. To the other side? Still bed up here? No bed. Let's put down a bed. Alright. And, uh, I'll bring you back when I take a look at um, the first step of the renovations of that castle area. Welcome back. Um, for you, it's been a second. For me, it's been a, a day or two. Um, so I didn't get every piece of the vines. <laughs> um, of course. Uh, and they start growing back really fast. I've been working over here on a bunch of different stuff, so I found some areas where the vines were growing again. I'm going to clean this up and I'll show you what I've done um, with the renovation project. So really starting to take shape. Um, this back corner, in fact, is probably the area that has the least done to it. Um, but as you can see, um, the guard towers in the front corners are fairly done kind of determined that this side of the building over here is the front of the keep area, the castle area here. 
Um, so you can see there's the village over there. And this is the front. Um, as I've been renovating, I've noticed basically that white terracotta. Um, I'm keeping it as an accent block, but I think it is just left there as more like a filler block. It's kind of an indication of stuff that has rotted and decayed into that. It isn't, um, you know, you, you don't want to build kind of where that is. So while I'm still using some of the white terracotta for now as structure, I'm probably gonna switch it out for like raw marble um, or some other thing like that eventually. Um, but these towers are now, you know, fully uh, kind of a peak roofs and stuff are fully rebuilt. So we'll come down here, take a, a look at them. The towers themselves inside are not finished at all. Um, but yeah, I've done three out of the four of the front ones now. So even from our base over here, you can see that one. That one doesn't have any of the framing or anything inside it yet. Uh, so it's kind of just open. Uh, just the dark oak wood is in there. Um, but yeah, this has been a really starting to be a really cool project. I'm really enjoying it. It's a uh, you know kind of like renovating a house, trying to figure out what it was like before, and then you know obviously you have to put your own stuff on it. I left a little uh, gap over here so you can see. So basically, all the parapets end up being these oak planks with. Uh, Oak woods, dark oak planks, sorry, with the oak wood slabs in this pattern on them. And then over here, uh, there's this roof pattern where these corner things hold up the, um, the roof structure. And what I'd like to do is that, because I think it makes it a little more interesting texture or pattern, I should say. Whoops, that one is misplaced blocks. Let's go grab that back by replacing that plank there with a stair, it gives this uh, support, structural support. You can maybe see it better on this one over here. Just that little bit more definition, looks more maybe like an arm holding up the roof otherwise. Um, yeah, so I'll have to add some, some of that over here as well. Just come in like this. So it's it's little things like this that you know you go and you do the you get the framing in and then you go and you do the little bits of design work that will make the build oh let's get rid of that uh, more interesting when we're done and it is getting dark out boom like that and the last one should be here excellent. Yeah, so those look a lot better now. We can hop down here, grab the stuff we dropped, or not, because that's, oh, flag spike. <laughs> uh, you do get that playing this pack every once in a while. Um, it is pretty, pretty uh, demanding on the computer. All right, so now we have, yeah, we have a little, we have a little room. Let's go over and take a sleep, and actually I am going to probably end the video here. Um, when I come back, you know, next episode, uh, we'll take a look at, I'll probably have hopefully, oh, no, more vines. Um, hopefully have some of this uh, framing done and um, be able to show you kind of what I'm deciding to do with the design work. Um, I bet that vine is growing right like I missed the one in there before and it grew all the way out. This is this is why this is such a pain. Um, and then I'm putting random blocks all around, but yeah. All right, so this, uh, yeah, this centerpiece will be, will be interesting. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. But this is, uh, you know, coming along. And as I said, this is a very fun project. I'm really enjoying it and hope uh, you're enjoying watching it too. Uh, anyone who hasn't played Nature's Beauty, I encourage you to give it a try. Uh, or just watch our videos. Thanks uh, again for watching. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.